Over the past few years, numerous people have moved from San Francisco to Hillsburg. I talked to two couples with young children who shared with me the best and the worst things about making the move. One couple was originally looking to live in Napa County and after moving to Hillsburg, they realized they nearly made a really big mistake choosing Napa over Hillsburg. So what were the best things about choosing Hillsburg over Napa or elsewhere in Sonoma County. In this video, I'll share with you the one thing that both couples agree is the best thing about living in Hillsburg. And it's not what you might think it is. If you're new to this channel, my name is David Hargreaves, a top five realtor in Hillsburg, one half of the Brewington Hargreaves team. We're in the top 1% of all teams in Sonoma County. But less about us, let's find out what each couple loves and hates about living in Hillsburg. So just for a bit of context, both couples lived in San Francisco and they bought places in downtown Hillsburg and moved up here full time within the last couple of years. Tom and Jade lived in the Marina District while the other couple lived in Pacific Heights. Their stories are actually remarkably similar, even down to agreeing on the best and the worst bits of living here. It's interesting that Hillsburg wasn't the first choice they were looking at when it came to living and buying somewhere in wine country. Napa, the city of Sonoma and Kenwood were all on the list, while Hillsburg was considered that just a bit too far away from San Francisco. That being said, neither couple had heard anything bad about Hillsburg, it just wasn't front of mind. The first thing that struck both of them were the number of young families also living here. I think part of their concern was that the demographic would be, you know, that bit older, you know, people like me. Or that it would be, you know, a lot of people who had second homes here, so there just wouldn't be much sense of community. So let's talk about having young children in Hillsburg. I mean, it's obviously something I don't personally have experience of, but you know, given both couples had recently had their first child, the topic quickly got on to talking about moving here with newborn children. You know, for both couples, the feeling was overridingly positive of, of moving here with young kids. For example, I wasn't aware there's a Facebook group with 600 mums as members, so you know, it sounds like there's literally no question that cannot be quickly answered by the mum community. So while the children are you know, too young for school just yet, Tom and Jade have definitely been struck by the difference between preschool in San Francisco and preschool in Hillsburg. In S San Francisco, when we were chatting, they, would, they said that the kids would be inside or you know, outside in a fenced off area. Whereas here, they're outside, free to roam around, you know, feeding the chickens, getting the knees dirty, playing outside. So for both couples, you know, while finding daycare was perhaps a little bit harder, um, you know, but between Cloverdale and Santa Rosa, they both had a number of different options. The upside is that in Healdsburg, childcare was definitely a little bit cheaper than San Francisco at $1,800 per month compared to $2,500 per month, which you could expect to pay in San Francisco. It's interesting, as Brits, Tom and Jade actually went the European route and have a French au pair who lives with them, um, which, which works out great. Because both couples live in, you know, right in downtown Healdsburg, they were also struck by just how many people they've got to know just by walking the streets with their young children in a stroller or you know hanging out at one of the parks with playgrounds. And according to Jade, the interactions in San Francisco just you know they just feel that bit more superficial compared to here. Whereas here, you know, she said you can bump into a couple one day, you'll likely see them a couple more times that week. So it just feels that much easier to get to know people more quickly. So certainly their perspective of you know moving here with very young children was, was a great experience. But it's hard to talk about moving to Hillsburg without talking about you know, working and commuting. At the end of the day, we, we all have to work. You know, both couples work full time, but nobody has to be in the office five days a week. You know, their schedules vary, but they're either 100% you know, remote, or at the most, they need to be in the office maybe like two days a week. You know, this was considered by both couples the maximum amount of time they'd want to spend in the office on an, on an ongoing basis. But you know, given both couples you know, got rid of their apartments in San Francisco, they either have to commute each day or else stay in a hotel overnight. I know from my own clients and friends that this work situation is, is definitely very common with people being asked to be in the office you know, two days a week um, although some companies, you know, such as Visa and Apple, are slowly increasing the amount of time people are expected to be in the office. I mean, it'll definitely be interesting to see if an increasing requirement to be in the office starts to, you know, impact the number of people moving to Sonoma County. And we all know Healdsburg has some amazing restaurant options, but how, how do they compare to San Francisco? It was interesting to get somebody else's take on the restaurant scene here. You know, both couples agree that there's great restaurants in Healdsburg, but both also feel, you know, a lot of the restaurants have got 
you know, sort of new American cuisine, or, you know, there's also quite a few Italian restaurants. So we quickly got chatting about, you know, what are the restaurants that Hillsburg is missing? So both agree that well, while there are a couple of sushi restaurants, there aren't too many good Asian restaurant options, you know, whether it's Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese, Indian. You know, that being said, that is about to change with the opening of a new Indian restaurant over by, over by Safeway. This is definitely music to my ears as a Brit where our most popular cuisine is, is Indian and in fact, can you believe it? Our most popular dish is chicken tikka masala. So definitely excited about the Indian restaurant coming our way. The other one thing that is missing, you know, largely because we do live in a town where restaurants are geared towards, you know, towards the tourist industry. Um, we're definitely missing, you know, different options for what I would call sort of fast casual dining. When Tom and I were chatting, we both agreed it'd be great to have a salad place such as Mixed Greens, which you may be familiar with throughout Marin and, and San Francisco. You know, if you are listening Mixed Greens, you'd definitely be welcome to Hillsburg. When we stop to think about the number of restaurants that have opened and then reopened through the pandemic, I mean, it's, it's quite the list, including, I know, Matheson, Rooftop 106, Lo and Behold, Little Saint, Madrona. I mean, the list goes on. Now, what is exciting is that we're about to get another Mediterranean option with the opening of a Hungarian gastro pub, as well as the steakhouse on the plaza, which is being opened by the Foley Group. You know, along with other new restaurants which are opening in the North Village and uh, just opposite the entrance to Montage. I also heard that the owners of Black Oak Coffee are on the hunt for a location for a new restaurant. So again, definitely lots of options coming to Hillsburg um, sometime soon. If you do want to know more about living in Hillsburg and you know read interviews with local architects and contractors and get insights into the local property market, please do subscribe to my newsletter and I'll put a link down below in the description. But what about the outdoors? Given both couples have recently had children, outdoor activities have, have definitely taken a bit of a backseat. You know, that being said, they do frequent places like, you know, Georgie Park and Badger Park, you know, which are obviously just great options if you've got kids. As a keen golfer, Tom definitely felt it's harder to get to a great variety of golf courses compared to San Francisco, where you can obviously go to, you know, Harding Park, Presidio, courses in the South Bay, East Bay, you know, th there's a lot of different options. You know, that being said, you know, Hillsburg does have a great nine hole course, which is perfect to be honest, if you've got small kids and you don't have a whole day to dedicate to, you know, a round of golf. One thing I hadn't appreciated actually was the high proportion of women who play at the Hillsburg course compared to a lot of other courses, which is, which is obviously great. So next up, let's, let's talk a little bit about traveling. And this, this was definitely a, a hot topic in, in our discussion. I'm not sure if I'm surprised or not, but both couples felt pretty strongly that the time it takes to get to SFO or the extra time it takes to get to somewhere like Tahoe is the worst thing about living in Hillsburg. Certainly for anyone who travels a lot with work, I can definitely see the drive to San Francisco would, would get pretty dull pretty quickly um, and become a bit of a drag. But what was interesting in talking to them was that their appreciation for Sonoma County Airport and how it actually makes Hillsburg a much better place to live than somewhere like Sonoma or Napa if you need to travel frequently. So while there aren't that many destinations you can fly to from Sonoma County Airport, you know, it does just open up a lot of different options like right on your doorstep. The other pet hate, which anyone who's commuted to and from San Francisco is aware of, are the delays on the 101 around Petaluma. You know, it only adds, I know, probably 15, 30 minutes to the commute at busy times, but it definitely makes a big difference to a regular commuter. I feel like one of the couples have gone pretty deep on the roadworks on the 101. You know, he reliably informed me that there's only, you know, three to five miles that now need to be completed to make the 101 three lanes all the way up to Windsor. You know, which, which will obviously make a big difference. You know, that being said, don't get too excited because I think he said the current time scale to get that work done is still two years. So it's definitely a little way off yet. But before we talk about the thing that both couples agree is the best thing about moving to Hillsburg, let's talk a little bit about the Hillsburg community. Both couples are struck by the number of organized community events, you know, whether it's the turkey trot, the 4th of July parade, the lighting the Christmas tree event, the Future Farmers of America event, you, you name it, Hillsburg has just got tons of different events throughout the year. For people moving to Hillsburg, these are great places to meet people. You know, because it's a relatively small town, you will definitely meet lots of people at these types of events, you know, especially if you have, you know, a small child or a small dog. In addition to attending these community events, 
there are a number of private winery and restaurant events that you know it's possible to attend which you know some of these are just amazing you know that being said they, they aren't cheap but you know they are a great place to meet new people and now for what we've been waiting for what is the best thing both couples agree about living in Hillsburg? it's it's really quite simple it's the people in just a couple of years you know, which let's not forget has been in the middle of a pandemic. You know, both couples agree they've made more friends in Healdsburg than they did in their five to seven years in San Francisco. You just stop to think about that for a moment. In a couple of years when, you know, we've been locked up in our homes, um, making more friends than, you know, five to seven years in San Francisco, it, it really is, it really does, you know, sum up what Healdsburg is all about. It's all about the people. But there's no question that Healdsburg is a very easy place to meet new people. I mean, I hear that time and time again. And I also know people who've moved to Napa. And, you know, the feeling is that the people just aren't as friendly. So despite the many reasons people love to visit and ultimately move to Healdsburg, it's actually none of those things which is top of the list about the best things about moving to Healdsburg. As we leave our chat, Jay says, I just can't think of a better place to live and bring up young children. I know it's hard to believe, but living in Hillsburg, you really can have the best of all worlds. If you are thinking of making the move to Hillsburg from San Francisco, please email me on david at brewingtonhargreaves.com. If you enjoyed this video about moving to Hillsburg, watch my video where I'll share with you the things I wished I knew before I moved to Hillsburg.